Hello, how are you doing? Welcome to Aprenda en Casa. I'm teacher Evelyn and I'm very happy to be here again with you. Um, let's continue our lesson on technology. And today we're going to talk about nomophobia. Ah, do you know what this word is? Very interesting, right? I hope you enjoy and learn a lot. But not only you, go and tell your family to participate with us. Very good. Okay, let's get ready. For this lesson, we're going to need the following materials. We're going to need a pencil or a pen, a sharpener, your English notebook, and an eraser, just in case you need to correct uh, any of your answers. Very good. Ah, some important reminders. Try to work in a quiet place, avoid loud noises, and also wash your hands to prevent COVID-19. Very good. So let me ask you uh, some questions. Uh, what do you think? And I want you to talk with your families about those, those questions. Are mobiles killing conversation in your family? Mm -hmm. Mm, are they replacing face-to-face -face communication? Uh -huh. Do you know what nomophobia is? Or is this the first time you listen to this word? Uh -huh. So let's analyze and think about these questions. Uh -huh. Very good. I want to share with you our plan for today's lesson. So in this lesson, we're going to listen to the following. Pay attention. Very good. We're going to discriminate the main points of a discussion in a video broadcast about nomophobia. We're also going to extract specific details from a video broadcast about nomophobia. Oh, very good. Interesting. Mm -hmm. Very good. Okay, guys, thank you. Mm -hmm. Okay. Let's imagine the following situation. Well, let's imagine I am your English teacher, and I decided to choose you to participate or rep represent your class in an international virtual forum. <gasps> Interesting, right? For student leaders to talk about ne uh, nomophobia. Nomophobia. Okay, very good. So you have to learn more about nomophobia in order to prepare that, right? So to be informed and to prepare your speech, you, decide, you decided to watch a video and be informed, okay? So we're going to watch a video and we're going to complete some listening tasks, okay? Interesting, what a nice challenge. And remember, you are going to participate in an international virtual forum, okay? So we're going to watch, very good, we're going to watch a video about nomophobia. But before, let's review some important keywords and uh, we need uh, to know in order to prepare our speech, okay? Let's pay attention. Okay, features. What, are, what is this? A distinctive attribute or aspect of something. Number two, switch on or switch off your cell phone. When you turn on or you turn off your telephone. Hmm? Fissure foam. A low-end mobile phone with limited capabilities. It means that it doesn't have too much features on it, okay? Next, silent, set to silent mode. It is a setting that you can activate to disable your cell phone ring tones. Mm -hmm. Set to vibrate mode. It is a setting that you can activate to disable your ring tones and set Instead, it vibrates. Very good. Then we have digital addiction. It is an impulse control disorder that involves the obsessive use of mobile devices. Mm -hmm. Online identity. It is a social identity that an internet user establishes in online communities and websites. Score. The number of points earned uh, for correct answers on a test. Mm -hmm. Phobia, 
A phobia is a type of anxiety disorder defined by a persistent and excessive fear of an object or situation. In number 10, unpleasantness. The fact of not being enjoyable or pleasant. Very good. Excellent. Excellent. Now we have these important keywords. Let's watch the video for the first time to get main ideas. But the video was taken from WCMC uh, News with educational purposes, okay? So before, let's pay attention to the instructions and do not forget to take notes, right? And ask for us, your family, for help. So let's watch the video broadcast to answer the following questions. Let's look at the questions and ask your family for help. Okay, what is the video about? It's about, just a second, it is about onomatophobia, nephophobia, or nomophobia. Mm -hmm. Question number two. What is the meaning of nomophobia? It means, option A, no mobile phone phobia. Option B, no matters, phone phobia. And C, no mobile phone phobia. Okay, very good. Now that you know what you have to answer, um, you are going to watch the video for the first time. Okay, remember to ask your family for help. Um, look at this. Okay. Fire. Tonight, we continue our series of My Parents Only Knew. This week, we've asked teenagers to open up about their worries, stresses, and other issues that they're facing. Yeah, one of those, the fear of not having their cell phone. Watch how a group of teens discover their digital addiction is real. Are you addicted to your smartphone? No. No. I don't think I am. Are you willing to take a quiz to see just how much you might be addicted? All right. Come into our truth booth. We're going to give you 20 questions to see just how addicted you are. If I were to run out of credits on my monthly data limit, I would panic. Oh, yes. I'll give that a three. Running out of battery life. And my smartphone would scare me. If I did not have my smartphone with me, I would be nervous because I would be disconnected from my online identity. Oh, it's heavy. For real. If I did not have my smartphone with me, I would be nervous because I could not know if someone had tried to get a hold of me. Seven. Seven? Seven. Seven again. Seven. Yikes. Come on out. I'm going to give you your score. No mo phobia. No mobile phone phobia. Zero to 20, you don't have any. 20 to 60, you got a mild case. 60 to 100, you have a moderate case of nomophobia. Any score over 100, it's severe. You ready to see your score? Okay. Oh, that's higher than I thought. I got 130. <laughs> That's so bad. I have nomophobia. Wow. <laughs> I don't know what to say to that. I'm shocked. 124. You're packing the meter. Yeah, I'm addicted. I ain't gonna lie. I gotta have it. But why? This is part of me. It's me. And if I don't have my phone, like... Oh my God. Yeah. It's like, if you need me, I can't answer. The world's Sorry. ending. It could end. Life will be over. Over? <laughs> over. It, it's a phone. It will be over. Wow, remember life without those? <laughs> Want to put your own kids to the test? They don't remember. We put the interactive questionnaire <laughs> online for you at WCNC.com. All right, turning back to the weather now. Interesting. Did you like it? What do you think about yourselves? Did it remind you of something? Hmm. Did your family help you to get the answers? How was it? Uh-huh. All right. Let's check the answers together. Okay, number one. What is the video about? It is about pneumophobia. Very good. So now let's see what it is. What is the meaning of pneumophobia? It means no mobile pho phone phobia. So it means that you are like very fear of not having your phone with you. Interesting, right? What do you think about it? Do you like it? Okay, so now you know what nomophobia is. 
So let's do another listening task. So we are going to watch the video for the second time, but this time we are going to get specific details from the video, okay? But before watching and listening to the video, let's read the instructions together, and then we're going to watch the video after that. Very good. It says, read uh, task, read the following five items and choose the correct option to answer them correctly. Let's go to number one. At the beginning of the video, so pay attention to details. At the beginning of the video, do the students believe they are addicted to their phones? No, yes, not mentioned. Number two, the students took a quiz to figure out how much they might A, like their smartphones, B, use their mobile phones, and C, be addicted to their phones. Number three, how many questions does the quiz have? Remember that you are going to pay attention to specific details. 15, 18, or 20. Number four, over a hundred scores in the quiz represent you have a mild nomophobia, severe nomophobia, and moderate nomophobia. In question number five, smartphone addiction is linked to A, anxiety and fear, B, unpleasantness and anxiety, and C, impaired thinking and panic. Okay, now you know the questions. So we are going to watch the video for the second time. Pay attention to those details and take notes. Let's okay. watch it. Tonight, we continue our series, If My Parents Only Knew. This week, we've asked teenagers to open up about their worries, stresses, and other issues that they're facing. Yeah, one of those, the fear of not having their cell phone. Watch how a group of teens discover their digital addiction is real. Are you addicted to your smartphone? No. No. I don't think I am. Are you willing to take a quiz to see just how much you might be addicted? All right. Come into our truth booth. We're going to give you 20 questions to see just how addicted you are. If I were to run out of credits on my monthly data limit, I would panic. Oh, yes. I'll give that a three. Running out of battery life. And my smartphone would scare me. If I did not have my smartphone with me, I would be nervous because I would be disconnected from my online identity. Oh, it's seven. Really? If I did not have my smartphone with me, I would be nervous because I could not know if someone had tried to get a hold of me. Seven. 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 Seven, seven again. Seven. Yikes. Come on out, I'm gonna give you your score. No mo phobia. No mobile phone phobia. Zero to 20, you don't have any. 20 to 60, you got a mild case. 60 to 100, you have a moderate case of nomophobia. Any score over 100, it's severe. You ready to see your score? Okay. Oh, that's higher than I thought. I got 130. <laughs> That's so bad. I have nomophobia. Wow. <laughs> I don't know what to say to that. I'm shocked. 124. You're packing the meter. Yeah, I'm addicted. I ain't gonna lie. I gotta have it. But why? It's just part of me. It's me. And if I don't have my phone, like... Oh my God. Yeah. It's like, if you need me, I can't answer. The world's Sorry. ending. It could end. Life will be over. Over? <laughs> over. It, it's a phone. It will be over. Wow, remember life without those? <laughs> Want to put your own kids to the test? They don't remember. We put the interactive questionnaire <laughs> online for you at WCNC.com. Okay, how was the listening task? Did your family help you? Could you extract specific details from the listening? Hmm, I'm sure you did. So let's check the, the answers together. Very, one, very good. Number one, at the beginning of the video, do the students believe they are addicted to their phones? Uh-huh, very good. Let's remember, well, the answer is no, right? They, at the beginning of the video, they said they are no uh, uh, addicted. They are not addicted to their phones. Okay, number two. 
the students took a quiz to figure out how much they might, option B, be addicted to their phones. Very good. Number three, how many questions does the quiz have? Yeah, 20 questions. Uh -huh. Number four, over 100 scores in the quiz represent you have a, wow, severe nomophobia. Mm, very good. Number five, smartphone addiction is linked to, remember that we check, we reviewed that word in the vocabulary, right? Unpleasantness and anxiety. Okay, very good, excellent. I'm sure you could solve this task, right? With the help of your family, of course, right? So, um, congratulations, very good job. Now, we're going to complete the task I assigned you at the beginning, right? Remember, remember that I decided to choose you to represent your class in a virtual, in a virtual uh, forum for student leaders to talk about nomophobia. So do you remember what nomophobia is? Aha, uh -huh, very good. Well, now that you know more about nomophobia, uh, we can prepare your speech. But before, I want to introduce you some tips, some information that are going that is going to help you to complete this task. So let's look at the recommendations together. Okay, these are some recommendations that you can follow to prepare your speech to participate in the forum. First, you should welcome your audience. And you are going to use expressions like, uh, for example, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, Ladies and gentlemen, or everyone, you can say that. Okay, the next. Very good. So, you are going, secondly, you are going to introduce yourself. For example, you are going to say, uh, let me introduce myself. My name is Evelyn, and I am delighted to be here today to talk to you. Very good. Number three. You are third, well, you are going to introduce the topic. For example, I would like to take this opportunity to talk to you about. Then you are going to explain your goal, right? For example, you are going to say, the purpose of this presentation is, in this case, the purpose of this presentation is to inform you about nomophobia, right? Then you are going to start presenting your topic. For example, you can say, well, let me uh, begin by explaining what, why, how. So you can say, let me begin by explaining what nomophobia is. Okay, very good. And then finally, you are going to summarize uh, the important facts one again, once again in other words. Remember that on the previous lesson, we took or we uh, learned strategies for uh, to find the factual statements, right? So here you are going to say, for example, you can say, in conclusion, let me sum up my main points. Thanks. Uh, thank you all for listening. It was a pleasure being here today. Very good. Easy, right? Did you uh, present it to your father? Well, you are going to uh, remember that you have to take into account the different points, like the introduction, which is very important, and you're going to say a greeting to introduce it to your family or friends, and well, the people in the forum, right? Okay, very good. Well, now that you know this very important information, we're going to start presenting this to our families, right? So, um, I'm going to give you some time for you to do it at home. Let's do it.
okay, maybe it wasn't enough time, right, for doing your speech. And maybe some of you forgot some important information. So let's go back to the information that you need to include in your presentation. Okay, let's go to slide 28. Thank you. So here it says, these are some recommendations that you can follow to prepare your speech to participate in the forum. Well, remember, first of all, you are going to welcome your audience. For example, good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Good afternoon, everyone. Okay, good evening, everybody. Um, uh -huh, the next second. Secondly, well, you are going to introduce yourself, which is, is very important. Let me introduce myself. My name is Evelyn, and I am delighted to be here today to talk to you. You have to show enthusiasm there, okay? Third, introduce the topic. For example, you can start like this. I would like to take this opportunity to talk to you about, and then you're going to tell them that you're going to talk about nomophobia, right? Mm -hmm. Next, you are going to explain, no, let's go back again, uh -huh, thank you. Next, explain again your goal. For example, the purpose of this presentation is, and then start presenting your topic. For example, let me begin by explaining what nomophobia is, or why it, uh, is it, it is important to know about this, or how can we, uh, we can, I'm sorry, we can recognize nomophobia. And finally, let's summarize, summarize the important facts. Once again, in other words, for example, in conclusion, let me summarize, or let me sum up uh, my main points. Thank you all for listening. It was a pleasure being here today. Okay, very good. Okay, I'm sure you could do it, right? And I'd like to present you a video to a student she is prepared uh, for the, for, to participate in the virtual forum. So let's watch the video. Look at her, please, and pay attention. Look, tell your family to watch it with you, okay? Good afternoon, everybody. Let me introduce myself. My name is Francela Porras, and I feel so pleased to have the opportunity of being here today to talk to you. Today, I want to share some information with you about nomophobia. This term comes from no mobile phone phobia. It happens when a person feels a terrible fear of losing the cell phone. They consider this gadget as the store of their most important aspects of their lives, and without it, they think they will face an awful crisis. But guess what? We can liberate ourselves from this phobia. A few days ago, I was talking to other teenagers who told me their stories. They made a comparison between smartphone use and the consume of drugs. The symptoms are practically the same ones, even though not very admits the problem and everybody says that something that can use like control. But that's not true. There are many adolescents, adolescents and adults who feel really empty if their phones are not just beside them, even while sleeping. During a couple of years, I was deeply addicted to my smartphone, and I and always thought it was completely normal, given that my friends acted just the way I used to. Some days ago, a group of students created a campaign about the addiction they were involved in, and a little by little, I noticed why I noticed how the wrong use of our smartphones can really destroy our lives. So I decided to do something different and I started making changes in my, in my own life and I discovered it is possible. Thank you, Francella. I'm very proud and I'm very uh, happy to know that this help has helped you a lot and that you're trying to make a change in your life. Well, as you can see, she was Francella Porras, one of my students, and she presented her speech, right? It was very interesting. And I'm sure you did yours, and you presented them to your family members. How, how were your speeches? What do you think about nomophobia? Hmm. Okay, it's time to self-assess what we did in today's lesson. So let's look at the questions, and let's read them together. Did I read the instructions carefully? Did I finish the listening tasks proposed? I'm sure you did it, and you did everything that the teacher asked you to do, right? Mm -hmm. Did I follow all the steps? 
to prepare my speech for the forum. Remember, at the beginning, you uh, use, uh, you welcome the audience, right? And then you introduce yourselves. It, you, then you present the topic, you talk about the topic, and at the end you say goodbye, and you, well, you summarize the main information. Well, and of course, we need to assess our knowledge. Okay, I discriminated the main points of a discussion in a video broadcast about nomophobia. I'm sure you did it because you, you could get the main information, right? You, could uh, figure out what uh, nomophobia is, what the main topic was, etc. I extracted specific details from a video broadcast about nomophobia. For example, uh, the number of the questions that it was 20 questions. Mm -hmm. Very good. Okay. Interesting. I'm very proud of you guys, and I know that you have done an excellent job in today's lesson. But well, we have come to an end. And then, uh, before we go, I want to ask you some questions for you to analyze with your family, okay? After watching the video, um, can you say that you are addicted to your phones? If yes, what can you do to uh, break this bad habit? Uh-huh, think about it. Excellent. Well, I hope you enjoy and learn a lot in today's lesson. I am teacher Evelyn, and I'm very proud to be here with you, and I hope to see you next Friday here in Aprendo en Casa. Bye-bye. Be safe.